Hello everybody, welcome back to another mind test mod review and today we are looking at the camera mod which uh, right off the bat I'm gonna say is not something that a large percentage of players are ever going to use but for those few of us that would use it it is actually a really neat tool and uh, definitely something you should have in your arsenal if you make videos. And what this uh, tool does is lets you make a recording, essentially, of motion. And then you can play it back. So I recorded two before recording this video. And um, obviously you can't see where my hands are, but my hands are not touching the keyboard or mouse this is being played back and actually if i do touch the mouse and try to change where i'm looking the picture gets very jittery as the direction and speed are trying to be controlled by the game instead of by me so if i use actually keyboard input is completely disregarded and trying to look around just results in this horrible motion so now you might be wondering, well, Nathan, what would I use this mod for? Well, I'm glad you asked. Two things come to my mind. One, texture packs. Say you wanted to show, you know, a series of different texture packs in a video. Maybe you were going to make a series on texture packs. And so you would create a world and you'd have... However you want it to lay your world out, that really doesn't matter. But you would create up your world, all your different nodes, and then you would record a uh, kind of like a fly-through. And then you could play that back. And this specific playback actually just stopped, which is why I just dropped to the ground there. Um, but you could play back that recording and record your mind test window and do the exact same pattern with... A handful of different texture packs and then you would have a very um, what's what I'm looking for here very similar baseline I don't know I don't know what the phrase would be but you'd have the exact same motion going through just with your different texture packs so it'd be a very fair comparison the other use for it would be if you were doing a large building project and you could however x often you wanted to do it you could play back the recording so you would you would have to ahead of time kind of know where you want to build stuff so you could make a recording that wouldn't be flying through walls so you'd have to like lay out your roads first and then fly down the road and then as stuff built around it you could get recordings as you're progressing that would always be the exact same so then you could do nice little fade effects from video clip to video clip and have more parts of the thing that you're building just appearing there. So now that we've uh, wasted enough time talking about what you would use this mod for, let's, uh, let's demo how to actually use the mod. So obviously the first thing you have to do is enable the mod, no duh, um, but we're assuming you've already done that. So, you want to record something, so we figure out where we're going to start, which uh, we'll just start right here, and then we use the command camera, and that's, that's all you type, just camera, and it'll give us a little chat notification here, recording started. Then we use the forward and back keys to change our acceleration and deceleration, so to go faster we just keep hitting your forward key and then to gradually slow down, uh, you hit the backwards key. Now you do get no clip, so you can fly through things with it, and uh, you have no up-down control. It's just all by direction you point. So it's almost like a, almost like a flight simulator, except you, when you turn, you have no, is that yaw or pitch? I don't know which, you always are looking parallel to the horizon so it's not really like an airplane because an airplane your plane actually tilts as you turn 
but uh, it was never said to be an airplane. It was said to be a camera to record stuff. So we've we've gone and done our little fly through here to stop the recording. We hit the crouch key or uh, sneak key, as most people will probably call it. And we get a little chat notification. Recording stopped after 2,557 points. So that is how many points have been recorded. But we need to save this if we want to ever play it back. So to save it, we will use the chat command. Camera, save, and then we need a title. So we're going to call this one third. Because if we do camera list, so we'll give you a list of the recordings. I have third, second, and first. Um, I thought before it was listed first, second, but I'm not sure how it decides the naming or how it reports them. So then to play back in these, we just do camera play and then the name of the recording and it'll jump us to that location on the map and start the playback. Uh, to exit playback, we just hit the sneak key and we can do play. Oh, what am I? I've not play camera. Camera play third. And here we are at the third place. And we slowly start moving. And we can do camera. I don't remember if I played first first or if I played second first. So we're going to try first. Uh, that's when I played at the beginning. So camera play second. And this should be uh, our second one. Now, these recordings are saved. Um, they are saved throughout world restarts so they are saved in a text file someplace in the world folder so you can you know reopen your world replay your world however you want to phrase it numerous times and you will always have your recordings there now you can while you're in playback you can disable all of your debug info you can turn on and off your mini map so it's completely customizable if when you do the recording you have your mini map visible because you want to know when you have to turn in stuff you can turn it off when you're actually doing your recordings or if you didn't have it on when you recorded it but you want it you can turn it on um, i don't really know why you would ever want chat on while recording so you would probably keep that turned off debug info um i don't really know why you would want that showing either but again it is something you can turn on and off to exit uh, playback, you just use the sneak key again. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention while recording, let's go ahead and start a new recording. Uh, and you just do that. Okay, so we're gonna go forwards. So we can accelerate. And then if we wanna stop, we can of course decelerate by hitting the back key, or you can use jump, which is uh, a break and it'll pretty much stop you much faster than decelerating. And of course, then you can accelerate out again. And begin another lovely fly through. Now, one thing you may want to consider is using cinematic mode while doing this, which uh, I forget how you enable that. I thought it was F8, but clearly it is not. But that's something you may want to turn on. Cinematic mode just kind of smooths out your um, your cursor movements. So instead of having any sharp jerks, it'll slowly fade them. So you'll get a little smoother motion, which you, you might want to play around with. You can change the factor value of the cinematic mode. So you can get something that really works well for what you're recording. Because, of course, depending on what you're recording, your your needs may be different. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's all there is to this mod. It doesn't create any items or anything like that. Though, there is a camera model, which I'm not sure what it's used for. Um, okay, well, that's weird. Do we ever see this camera model? No. No, we don't. Interesting, because in the file or in the mod in the folders, there is a camera file and a camera texture, but and a camera object as well. It's kind of weird because 
and just a control to do it. Let's try. Give me camera. You don't have permission to you on this command. Give. Oh. That's kind of weird. Cannot give it an item. Oh, okay. Well, why didn't it just tell me that when I tried giving it to myself the first time? Yeah, because there's a camera object. But as far as I can tell, there's no way to get that object. Everything just uses keyboard command. So I'm not sure if that was something that they had created for uh, maybe future development, but it's just not used, or if it was going to be used, but they changed their mind. Whatever the case, um, yeah, there's just a chat command to do it. And like I said, this would be great for if you're doing texture packs, like reviews on them, or if you're just doing a big building project and you want to kind of do a, like a time lapse almost, but not really a time lapse of the process. So that's all there is to it. It's, it's a really basic mod. It just does one thing, but it, the one thing it does, it does do well. So link will be on my website, which will be down in the description as always, of course. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next week with another Mind Test Mod Review.